two of Super Sports, uh, your world of champions, entered the Lucas Masterpieces Muni Bay Stadium, as did the team of Super Sports United and TX Galaxy, and uh, the respective crews and fans. Under the gloom of the violent passing of Luke Fleurs, we will do a tribute to him before the match gets underway. But it really, uh, Frank, uh, Farouk Khan, as I bring you in earlier, it really is a, a big, big tragedy when you lose a really promising player, a young player, a junior international. This has to stop, surely. But absolutely, Kevin, it's so sad to see a player who is in the prime of his career being uh, murdered was, and I think condolences to his family and everybody, the loved ones, and all the teams that he's been involved with. A really promising player, as you said, Kev. Yeah, may his soul rest in peace. We'll do a tribute a little bit later when there is a moment of silence before the match gets underway. The match will get underway. Super Sports United have never lost against uh, TX Galaxy in a home match, but we saw that with TX Galaxy on Wednesday when they played against Royal AM and in five matches against Royal AM they'd lost three times TX Galaxy and drawn twice they beat Royal AM by three goals to nil with uh, Nurkovic, Mojela and Sabili Bili all grabbing goals in that encounter July TX Galaxy play against the Super Sports United who they've never beaten away from home just the one victory in the last uh, seven outings or the seven outings they've had in the Premier League and that uh, victory was in uh, August of 2022 when TX Galaxy won by two goals to nil with Mzee Mango and Sidat grabbing goals but away from home TX Galaxy have never won against Matsatante Patori and Super Sports United um, have never lost therefore the team lineup for Super Sports United sees just the one change made by Gavin Hunt after the 2-2 draw against uh, Bafana Vistende. Uh, Tender Mozimo Matozzi comes into the starting lineup in the place of Jape Morado, who sits on the bench today. Also on the bench is Bradley Krobler and Etioso Igodaro. Between them have uh, 12 goals. And Lila Kay in the amongst there with four goals as well. So uh, 16 goals between three of the substitutes. <laughs> We're bound to see them in the second half for Rook, but wow, it's, it's, it's a lineup without those players. Where are the goals going to come from? Zvukamanja maybe, Lungu maybe, Campbell's in there as well. Let's have a look at the formation. Well, absolutely a very formidable formation. We have and Lobo and Mahaman in midfield. That's a steal in middle. And obviously that young man who shows so much promise, Campbell with Mahadishi um, uh, on, on the flanks. And I mean, I think this is a team that can really give uh, this TS Galaxy a run for their money. Team shot of the TS Galaxy side who are unbeaten in their last four matches. Four clean sheets there as well in League and Cup. They make just the one change coming into this match as well. They're oppressible. Lechlan Onolo Mojela makes his 14th start of the season. He replaces Oribotsi Mongai, who sits amongst the substitutes today. It's a side that have been playing pretty well today. Mvelati and Kiva have been stabilizing the midfield. Maklangu and Nurkovic have been incredible. Here's Farouk Khan with their formation. Well, a very uh, consistent team thus far, and they have the likes of Kiba and Velese in the middle of Maslangu. The Dejani up front, that uh, promising uh, midfield with Nurkovic on seven goals thus far. Lots going to be expected from him. And this is a team that if you don't take advantage of them early in the game, they can come back to hurt you. Our match referee today is Masit Kole Bambiso with Lubo Balo Picha and Dembi and Kosi Mangai, the uh, assistant referees, and Simukele Jali, the fourth official. We now pause for the moment of silence. Luc Fleurs taken in the prime of his life violently and completely and totally unnecessarily. May soul rest in peace. May Super Sports United and the Kaiser Chiefs, the teams that he played for, remember with great honor the uh, contribution he's made to their respective teams. May his family gain solace from his passing and uh, remember him fondly for his contribution to family life. Luc Fleurs will be remembered. Interesting match in prospect for Super Sports United tonight. They're led by two goals to nil against Abafane Bestende. Away from home with goals from Okan and Zbukumanja. And then contrived to draw that encounter 2-2. Not good news for uh, the fans of Abafane Bestende today because uh, certain Orlando Pirates side took them to task a little and uh, won by seven goals to one. That must be the biggest victory ever or the biggest loss for Arrows ever. I haven't uh, looked at the statistics. Maybe somebody can tell us on at Rocky All Sports on my Twitter feed and let me know uh, not what you thought of it, but uh, what's the historical significance of uh, that victory. A huge, huge victory 
for Orlando Pirates. That takes him up into third place on the table above Sekakuni United, who played to a draw with Stellenbosch FC earlier on. Super Sports United in fifth place starting the weekend. Have a chance to go to fourth above Sekakuni United. TX Galaxy have a place to go above uh, Cape Town City and Super Sports United into a record fifth position on the table. It would be absolutely remarkable for Sade Ramovic if they're able to go five matches on the trot with victories in all five matches. So we're underway then at the Lucas Masterpieces Muripe Stadium. The pitch looks in absolutely brilliant condition. There was a massive thunderstorm that swept through at Ridgeville just about an hour and a half, two hours maybe before the match got underway. But uh, the drainage works beautifully out in this part of the world and the pitch looks more than just playable. Super Sports United will play in all blue tonight. They will defend the goal to the right-hand side of your screen, while Teague's Galaxy in their traditional red and black will play from left to right. Joined upstairs by Farouk Khan. He's called the coach. Farouk, uh, nice to uh, be chatting with you upstairs again. It's uh, going to be an interesting encounter between these two sides. Gavin Hunt uh, is known for his defensive strategies. Is he going to do enough tonight to keep out a TS Galaxy side? We've not only won three out of the last four matches, but are unbeaten in four and uh, have got four clean sheets in the last four matches. It really has been an incredible run for the Rockets. Well, absolutely. And I think you need to take into account, Rocky, that the fact being that both of these teams have had a rebuilding season. If you look at the number of players that they've lost, uh, uh, you know, two other clubs, the likes of uh, Patrick Masanguani, to name a few, um, Modisi as well. And I think... If you look at those players, the clock where Fleers, unfortunately, was passed on, Weber, these are the players that was quite influential last season, and they've just made sure that they rebuild that super sport, bringing in the likes of Ndlovo, Mahaman, Lekei, Pumidzai, Igadoro. And the same thing applies, uh, Kev, to the likes of uh, TS Galaxy. Mochella going on an early run. It's going to be interesting how they set up their stall here tonight, TX Galaxy. Samin so, Nurkovic with six goals in the last uh, seven appearances and uh, half of those have come off the bench, his appearances that is, and the goals for that matter. There's the bench of Supersport United, the uh, experience there of uh, Bradley Hrobla, alongside of him Etiosa Igodaro, the former Chippa United Nigerian striker, and Lila Kay, who signed from Cape Town City and Mamelodi Sundowns. He really is a terrific striker. Hrobla right uh, near the top where we are are used to finding him as far as goals are concerned one of uh, three players on eight goals including Mayo of Cape Town City Rainers of Stellenbosch FC the leading goal scorer Costa of the uh, Lady Sundowns Mabasa has uh, seven for Orlando Pirates Nurkovic has seven for TX Galaxy but banging the goals in in the Premier League those uh, players in particular well I think if you have two players like Igadaro and Hroblo on the bench and collectively they have 12 goals between the two of themselves it makes you think that from a tactical point it's obviously Kevin looking at having a plan B you know not throwing all his cards out and saying okay look let me start with Zukovic up front and uh, see what happens and if need be I have the quality on the bench to change the game if need be yeah I reckon that uh Gavin Hunt being the student of the game that he is and a multiple uh, league winning coach as well as the first free kick comes into the penalty area, easily defended as uh, Super Sports United can't get uh, and Lovo onto the ball but I love to see that little bit of defending from Samir Nurkovic as well, you'll see him quite often dropping into the uh, defensive position as we look at Gavin Hunt alongside of him those two legendary goalkeepers, Grant Johnson who's the national team goalkeeper and uh, Andre Arensa who is with but best fits at the end of his career. Yeah, it's a tough side. They've got this man, Max Munyai, playing at right side of fullback. They've got Macbeth McClung and Pugisa Sanoka, who start their 21st game each today. The centre pairing, centre back pairing, haven't missed a match. They played alongside of each other for 20 times coming into this encounter, as has the former Maruma Gallants, former fullback and now holding midfielder, Umpoam Velasi. He's also got uh, 20 first team appearances, never played off the bench. And between the three of them, and Twari at the back, the two centre backs, you've got Mpum Velasi, and then you've got the likes of uh, Mojela, Sepiwa Maklangu on the left hand side, Nurkovic up front. You've also got the players off the bench like Mongai and Bunjana, and uh, Sepili Pili, who can come into the play. So, yeah, it's starting to become a rather well balanced outfit. Youth and experience, 
and Sejdramovic is starting to become very, very pleased and happy that uh, finally the players are starting to get used to his style of football and what he wants to achieve in the game of football. It's his third season with uh, TX Galaxy and, and, it's, and it's his best so far. Well, exactly, Kev. If you look at it, your philosophy, your style of play is dependent and your tactics are dependent on the profiles of your players. And the profiles you've just mentioned make this team such a formidable team. That's TS Galaxy. You have Munyai on the right-hand side, Kabini on the left, and they will look at times to bomb forward with that man there that we've just seen go down, Nurkovic, as a point of reference. Nurkovic knocked over by uh, Anusma Vasero, who pleads his case to referee Masik Kolobambiso. Samir Nurkovic has scored in the last three matches and before that he missed out in the match against uh, Golden Arrows, the Nedbank Cup match and against Spurs as well. But prior to the three matches in a row, the wins against the general in the Cup, Amazulu and Royal AM. But before that, he scored against uh, Lamont for Golden Arrows in a league match. He scored against Chippy United. He scored against Golden Arrows in a league match. And the man's been banging in goals almost at will. And the quality of the goals, that is what uh, Coach Sedramovic says he's impressed with. You know, it's not about the opportunities created, but it's how many coaches do you say, oh, we created so many chances. I've heard it from, uh, who did I hear it from most recently? The Polokwane City coach. They created 13 opportunities in a match that they lost by a goal to nil. But they lost. It was the first match back for um, Steve Compella with uh, Golden Arrows, and it was played in Pulakwani. That ball's just wide of Mbelasi. But um, the point that I was making is that he, he created 13 chances, didn't score one. And for TS Galaxy, they scored in quality goals. Keeper scored a quality goal against Amazula. Nurkovic scored there. Nurkovic scored against Royal M. Mojela scored a quality goal against Royal M. So did Sabili Bili. And they are. Uh, not maybe creating um, as many opportunities, but those that they are creating, they're converting. Yeah, well, it's important to put uh, creating chances into the correct context. Because what do you what do you call co uh, creating a chance? Basically, just a shot on target, uh, or do you create chances that are difficult for the opposition defence, that are difficult for the keeper, and and that half chances should be at least if you had 14, like you say, at least convert two of them. Yeah, absolutely. Cheeks Galaxy have only had one loss in the last nine matches, but they're not the only side on form because Supersports United are on form. Seven matches unbeaten. Six of those have been draws. If you take the Cape Town the City match, technically in the Net Bank Cup was a draw, though they won on penalties. And uh, the win against uh, Richards Bay FC away in the Net Bank Cup as well, but seven matches unbeaten. And six draws for Super Sport United, but uh, you know it's it's a, it's a it's a winless run. I mean, it's a run that's unbeaten, and it really provides a lot of quality. Now, both of these sides really in good form at the moment. Nurkovic with uh, Klatsvay. I think he's drifted over the touchline here as the Serbian. Well, I tell you, Nurkovic has been drifting to the left and to the right. He's he hasn't played like a conventional number nine down the middle. He moves constantly into those channels. And he can be a handful. We've seen Basera giving him some uh, attention, knowing that he could be uh, the difference tonight. Mojela full of running already. Titichani will have to give this one up. And uh, having uh, had a couple of opportunities to on the live streaming platforms of uh, your World of Champions Super Sport, had interviews with Said Ramovic, and uh, there's a couple of players that he's really, really pleased with, youngsters that are coming through the ranks. And not only has he praised the young players, but he's praised the clubs that they've come from. I'm talking about Samu Kelly Capini, the young left-sided fullback, who only starts for the fourth time tonight. I'm talking about Puso Dutejani, who also starts for just the fourth time tonight. He's a Kaiser Chiefs product. And not only are those players developed, uh, developing under his tutelage, but the quality that he got from Pirates and Chiefs of those two players, he's enormously pleased with, and he gave credit to them. Well, I think he's proven beyond a doubt that he's a tactician of uh, huge, huge uh, potential, and he's proven it beyond a doubt in the seasons that he's been here. I mean, we know TS Galaxy had their moments, but he's now made them a bit of a more consistent outfit. TS Galaxy finishing in their best finish of the season in 10th place last campaign. Super Sports United finished in third position in a Cap Confederation Cup position. 
We speak about Sejdremovic, but what a coach Kevin Hunt is and has been over the years. I mean, he won back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back titles with Super Sports United before he went to Wits, and he won a title with Pitves Wits as well. He is absolutely incredible, in, immaculate in his preparation and the development that he's made uh, with the young players he's got. When he was talking to Impo earlier on, he said, there's no other club that's introduced as many youngsters as he has this season into his starting lineup, and one has to give a lot of credit to Govan Hunt for that. Well, I agree with you totally, and you need to give credit to the uh, Super Sport Youth Development Projects. They've produced a number of those players that you just mentioned in their development structures, and they've come through, and you currently see the Mamalodi Sundowns team have benefited from that as well. Matozzi applying pressure on the left side of fullback Samukele Kabini. There are players that might have been singled out by Kevin Hunt for some special attention. Certainly the two youngsters, the two uh, Soweto born players, the Tijani and uh, Kabini. But uh, other than that, I think the TX Galaxy side is uh, pretty strong. What they have to do and what they have done is keep a clean sheet up until half time and another, you know, and then uh, get in and score goals in the second half. They've done that in the last uh, three matches in a row where they've scored eight goals and not conceded any. Well, you speak about Gavin, you speak about uh, Ramovic. These are coaches that have a certain template, a certain game model. So you would never have Gavin not playing with two solid central defenders with a, 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 a huge number nine up front with the likes of quick uh, wing backs or, or, or wide attackers. And that's important, you know. So when you replace a player in your club, you need to go according to your, your, your philosophy and your game model and say, this is the type of player I'm looking for. And I think that is what we've seen Gavin do over the years. Pressure on uh, Macbeth Maklangu, easily away by Fjakren Twari. He starts for the ninth time tonight, the 24-year-old Rwandan goalkeeper. Look at the chase on here for Mochella and Latoyo very, very nearly headed the ball back to Ricardo Goss. I think Goss was exceptionally <laughs> vocal, and yeah. that's why the highly experienced the Tulani Latoyo turned away from the Super Sport United penalty area. I'll tell you what, if he'd headed that ball back to Goss, they might have been in trouble, Super Sport. Well, you've got to give him uh, a lot of praise there, Latoyo. His uh, awareness and his intelligence there came to the rescue player with huge experience and a player that has really done well in the, the premiership over the years. Tyson Klatswire made his name at uh, Bitbest Bits after signing from Ajax Cape Town and then he played there under Gavin Hunt and went to Orlando Pirates. I didn't think he did particularly well in his time at uh, Orlando Pirates, maybe a little backward step in his career. But uh, when Gavin Hunt took over at Super Sports United as well, that's why I was on the uh, signing list. Sandre Campbell runs into Max Munyai and finds himself on the seat of his pants and off the side of the pitch, the 18-year-old. That uh, would have been offside against Mojella. He wanted the ball played a little earlier from Kiba, who was the player of the match against Royal AM last time. Yeah, I was going to say Kiba took too long, and I, I think Mojella made the run. Kiba wasn't looking, uh, to, to, to be quite honest, and I think... Therefore, Mugella had run into an offside position, but referee doing ever so well there. Campbell going down too easily, and he allowed the game to continue. Mugella is a pretty brisk fella. Grant Markaman, I wonder if enough gets said about the quality of Grant Markaman. Yeah, he might not score as many goals as uh, one would anticipate from the position that he plays in. Only one goal so far this season, but the contribution that he makes and the number of ma player of the match awards that he has won at his time at Super Sports United is incredible. He's a really, really good player. Well, I tell you, uh, it's a case of uh, looking for the past and seeing the past. The difference being is when you see the past, you see the past long before you have the ball. Whereas when you look for the past, it's only when you have the ball. And I think that's what Kiba did. When he had the ball, he was looking for the pass instead of seeing uh, Mojella earlier on. Denimutimo Matodzi just playing on the right flank at the moment for Super Sports United. And you've got Chandra Campbell on the left hand side with his Vukamanja playing a much more of a central role. Strong challenge on the set is Vukamanja. Four goals for him in the Premier League so far, the 29 year old. Well, he was a sandwich there, Zukumanja, and you can see Munyai helping him up. But it was clearly Kabini there, and I think Munyai not allowing him space and time. Now, the 
clip of the ankles from Mpon Velasi. Two tackles, two fouls already from the man who earned the Player of the Match award against Amazulu last weekend in Mpon Vela. Suddenly, uh, it looks like the band's arrived at, uh, at Richville. Free kick then, cleared away by Mvelase. Quality uh, player. These are, are, are situations where super sport can punish you. The set pieces, they're very, very well organized and structured. For once, they didn't go for height. They looked to keep the ball a, a load, and instead it was just uh, intercepted. But this is a long throw we're going to see from Lungu now. Gagapani Lunga goes for the launch. Nurkovic will tidy up and then clear away by Umpum Velase. Ricardo Goss playing keeper sweeper. Almost uh, just about seven meters away from the halfway line. It's a nice delivery. Second ball. And uh, it's uh, a nice header, I suppose. Not a great header, but a sort of nice header just to keep Fiakri and Twari in the game from Terence Bukumanja. Well, it's a ball that's played deep and it's knocked back to the awaiting player. Ball then once again uh, recycled. Another best of header, but it's something that you, you, you think they do in training quite often when they have those situations. Yeah, it uh, makes me think of their previous effort from uh, Mojela. Although he would have been miles offside if he touched the ball, he didn't. And maybe it's just a little reminder to the Super Sport United defenders that they're playing against a couple of pacey players. And they've got to be structured. They've got to keep their line. They have to look at each other. Um, it's something that Gavin Hunt is uh, well-renowned for, his organization in defense. But can only do so much as a coach, coach? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you can plan, but obviously the players are the ones that carry out your plan. And that's the implementation that needs to be done by the players. Lungu with a header away, touch from Chandra Campbell, who's just been sucked into the middle of the park at the moment. Munyai, Dedejani. Got some lovely touches as Dedejani, that wasn't one of them. But Mbilasi will tidy up nicely with Pukiso Sandoka. Remember him from Mansburg United. Oh, almost a lovely ball played through the middle of the park, looking for Tato Kiba. Mbilasi's been dragged off the ball. Well, that man, Mbilasi, is so important to this... Uh TS Galaxy team is the heartbeat of the team. He operates just between defense and uh, attack, and he makes them buzz. Pukamanja, the guilty party on that occasion. Really, he's trying to get involved in the game here as the uh, Zimbabwean, who starts for the 15th time tonight and uh, plays for the 19th time. It's going to be a throw into Super Sports United. Nice bit of pace shown in there by Mojella. Well, you spoke about pace, and his pace was just electrifying, if you look at that run. Uh, it's a game that is a, a very tactical thus far, as we see. Look at that pace. Uh, but you see there, the veteran of the game, uh, Basera, doing ever so well just to get to it. Scored on Wednesday against Royal AM. The middle goal between Nurkovic and Sabili Bili. Came off the bench to score his... Second goal of the season to the 21-year-old right winger who uh, has been left on the bench because uh, coach Nurk Ramovic has pre preferred uh, Puso Dedejani. Pull away by Pekisa Sanoka, Capini forward, away by Marchaman though. Just a little slip and they lost each other for a moment, the two centre-backs with Macbeth Maklangu trying to make the clearance and not really making contact. I'll tell you what, uh, Anisma Basera is switched on tonight. Starting to rain in Attridgeville. Saw torrential rain coming into the stadium where visibility was almost at nothing. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the drainage system wasn't working so well in Attridgeville. The streets were absolutely a sweep of uh, very, very large quantities of water. And uh, thankfully, everybody played it safe. Weren't any heroics amongst the drivers. I tell you, when Sanoka and Matlangu press in the center, Munyai and Kabini give them the cover, which is quite a, a nice tactical organization. When your center backs push up in the center, you want your full backs to cover the spaces, and I think that's what Munyai and Kabini have done well thus far. And Velasi, I beg your pardon, that is uh, Marks Munyai, not his greatest of touches, and he's up against a, a pretty quick man in Chandra Campbell. He's burst onto the scene as the 18-year-old with uh, five goals. Three in the net band cup already. 
that uh, competition will continue next weekend with the quarterfinals, but uh, two in the league as well for Campbell. Most recently, two goals against uh, Richards Bay FC, and the goals that he scored were of a really, really good quality, along with uh, Lungu, who scored the final goal. Keeper's got an injury in Twari. Well, and Twari came for a ball that he missed completely, and it was fortunate that Supersport didn't get a better touch on it. He's come out, and he hasn't really you know, dominated that uh, area. A little bit fortunate there in Twari just to get away with that one. Ninth appearance of the season for the Rwandan player who played with the A's Kigali in Rwanda before signing Dallas part of the world. Klatswayo gets the better of Samir Nurkovic. That's going to be a battle that will continue over the course of the match. Kabini with a nice touch. Now Kiba, Nurkovic, Ditechani. Well, Nurkovic will stay on side here and uh, Ricardo Goss will tidy up. So for that matter, will Andesma Basera. Basera again. Well, Lungu being guilty to play uh, Nurkovic on there and uh, Nurkovic unable to get that ball to feet. Match has been played at a reasonable pace here. Don't forget when these two teams met in uh, round 10 on the 1st of November. Five goal thriller, Super Sports United won by three goals to two. Lakay with a brace and Hrobler with a goal. Vidal and Mojella scoring goals for TS Galaxy. And uh, Igor Vidal, the Brazilian dynam dynamic midfielder, has uh, not been in action for a little while. He's still suffering an injury. He saw him down the tunnel a little bit earlier on as there's a foul by Nurkovic on Klatswayo and he apologizes to his opponent tonight two big fellows those yeah you can see he's just leaning in a bit um, and Klatswayo going down on that particular tackle it has been fascinating to see TX Galaxy and the way they've played and the way they've retained a little bit of energy for the second half of matches as we said in the last two games against KZN opposition Amazulu and uh, Royal AM goals at half time the goals came in the second half and the goals that came in the second half came with power precision and uh, with quality and we wait to see if a similar strategy plays out tonight well Kev we often speak about personality and I'd like to mention Durkovic he's a player that looks hungry constantly he's a player that gives you a hundred and ten percent does uh, a lot of uh, running in the game and uh, a player that is a coach's dream. Titichani deputizing at left side of full record. Cabini was on the inside. Markaman turns back towards a halfway. And Glovo also being driven back to halfway. And Tix Galaxy will force the issue and pick up a uh, free kick with uh, Spiwe Machlangu. Match referee Masik Polo Bambiso. The bright looking pink kit here, unmistakable in the middle of the Lucas Masterpieces Moripe Stadium. And I think that, oh, there's a mistake from Marks Munyai. And he has made a couple of mistakes tonight. And perhaps there is a sense of urgency here that just needs to be toned down just one notch as far as they're concerned. He has a with McClango in the meantime. McClango on goal, side netting. Great build up there. McClango doing ever so well. But that man, Lungu really did well here you look at that ball played through a razor blade pass uh, into space Matlango on the end of it but I think the Lungu tackle just did enough to put him off just looking at uh, the reaction from Ricardo Goss and he has done it on a couple of occasions he launches himself after the incident has passed to the perpetrator that allowed the ball to be played through initially. And I remember one match that I was commentating Super Sports United in, I can't remember the opposition, but uh, there was a header that uh, Onisma Basera had headed back across the face of goal and it went just past the right hand upright. And uh, Ricardo Goss was off his line in a flash. He looked up <laughs> and he thought it was Onisma Basera. He stopped dead in his tracks and apologized to his captain. It was amazing. Yeah. Great piece of television. Well, I tell you, that man, Mugella, that fantastic uh, razorback pass or champagne pass, just uh, fantastic on the turn. 
beautiful forward by Nippon Vilasi. Kiba now to Dejani Nurkovic. Mugello offside, I think, again. And they are really testing the offside trap of uh, TX Galaxy tonight. And I must say that Ocon and uh, Glatwayo are, are very solid in their combination. We've spoken about the combination of Maklangu and uh, Sanoka for TX Galaxy, but there's nothing wrong with Glatwayo and Ocon. Well, I tell you, that vertical pass, that combination that you see every time TS Galaxy get the ball, they don't look to go wide. They look to play that ball down the middle. They're looking to get in behind Super Sports defense. Kiba. Sanoka. Kiba again. And it's quite interesting to see how Kiba and Mvelasi switch roles. They're both playing in a similar area. Here's Mvelasi. And you'll see in the second half that Mvelasi will probably be given the free role that he received against Amazulu, uh, where he picked up the Player of the Match award. Lovely ball from Max Munyai, Nurkovic, trying to little slider there past Ime Ocon, didn't work to Mojela. Campbell. Well, what is very, very impressive from uh, TS Galaxy is the way they manipulate the ball, the way they put together those uh, combination passes, looking ultimately for the forward pass we've seen Nurkovic do it we've seen Mugella do it and 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 very very impressive and I can see why this team is doing as well as it is simply because there is synergy there's a collectivity about this team and I think uh, when you have that as a coach you really are a happy coach two center backs exchanging passes we speak about other youngsters in the super sports united camp like Sandre campbell etc but one mustn't forget that Ima okon is only 20 years old he starts for the 18th time tonight he really has uh, put his hand up and well yeah zuku manja on the ball uh, being unfairly unfairly tackled there he's a player that gavin will be looking towards to open the scoring for him tonight and if need be maybe he's got a bench of the likes of Robla as well as uh, Igadoro to look towards yeah it will be interesting to see at what stage Lekai Robla and Igadoro are introduced because uh, between the three of them are 16 goals and that is really incredible players on the park have 11 goals between the six players Markman with a little dummy run Shandre Campbell takes a deflection saw that goal that he scored against Richard Bay FC in the cup from uh, maybe a slightly tight angle then it was an absolute ripper that gave the Richard Bay goalkeeper absolutely no chance whatsoever then he scored a goal from the left hand side uh, in that match as well Super Sports United won a 3-1 but from that sort of range the youngster's got some power you wouldn't say with that body but he's got an educated left foot I didn't know he could generate that much power but he's, he surprised me really very impressive from Campbell Referee in the meantime, well, as we look at Chandray Campbell, having a chat to uh, a couple of players. Just having delivered the free kick will now revert to a corner kick for Super Sports United. Plays it shallow, well watched by Munyai. Well, it's nice to see the creativity there, not just hoofing the ball in, trying something different, trying to catch uh, TS Galaxy off guard. And let's see what he does now. He's probably going to go a bit higher now. Slightly different draw for him. And the header was made very nicely by Imo Ocon. Or was it Lungu? Basera in there Basera. as well, holding his head. Well, it looks like Basera got a bit of a head to it. There we see all coming across. Yes, it's the captain. Got a head to it, but couldn't guide it downwards. I'll tell you what I think. As Markerman collides with Mochella, the referee says, footballing incident, let's carry on. But uh, I think just a lack of communication between those two players. Lovely ball sliding into the area. And if it wasn't for the presence of Marks Munyai, Super Sport United could have been in business with Sandre Campbell. Well, Munyai showing a playing intelligence, covering the far post. Very difficult ball to deal with, that diagonal ball towards the far post. But once again, we see Munyai showing a class. All the way by Mpong Velase. Goes past Nukovic. Easy for Flatswayo. Now Becerra. Flatswayo in reverse gear at the moment. Now it is interesting to see referee Bambiso having a chat to Grant Markaman and to Lechlehon Olamogela. There's a little bit of uh, emotion 
we can put it nicely out there, which is not a bad thing. Nice play by Matodzi. Marchman again. Ball wide by Ndlovu. Still to stroke the ball around with some confidence and finding spaces and looking comfortable, Super Sport United. Well, the tactical discipline from uh, KS Galaxy when uh, Super Sport have the ball and vice versa. Very well organized, not uh, pressing when they shouldn't, and the shifting and ensuring that they cover those spaces. Super Sport United dominating the early possession. Well, the goalkeepers really had to make a save of any great significance so far. Super Sport United nil, Chiefs Galaxy nil. A look at the goal attempts then. Only one from the, the Rockets so far, but two out of the three for Super Sport United have been on the target. As you see the first offside of the game against uh, Spiro Maklangu. Yeah, you see there, it's very tight, but I think the assistant got it right. Spot on decision. Munyai will clear. Dete Chani looking for Nurkivic. Tidied up by Chukamanja, who's back uh, almost playing as a midfielder. Now both sides look very organized. Both sides look purposeful. Both sides are stroking the ball around with the quality of possession as Lungu once again finds Khlatswayo. They call him Tyson. They have called him Tyson almost his entire career. And this Mabasera at 38 years old is a, a leading light as far as fitness, determination. Great credit to a man who's looked after himself. Well, super sport keeping possession, trying to draw Galaxy out. Galaxy stubborn, a, playing with the block, with a, a mid, mid block, waiting instead of just there. Now we see Nurkovic pressing. But uh, I think this is important to, uh, for, for, for young players to understand when you keep the ball like this, it's basically to draw the opposition out of the structure. Now it's a very easy, or very interesting, I beg your pardon, to uh, watch teams in action like this and the discipline it takes to go through this sort of procedure for 90 minutes and the control and the positioning and uh, to try and contain the rash challenge or the rash pass or or maybe um, get the ambition when the ball's in the right place to have a shot at goal so uh, yeah there's so many different uh, you know modalities that come into the game of modern football and uh, the disciplines are incredible and it's uh, and it really is a credit to these players how they go about it week after week Nice touch from uh, Markaman to Zvukamanja. This is in Glovo with a little pirouette. Campbell, always a danger. Not from that position. Yeah, not one of his best, Campbell. The idea was great. The execution didn't match the idea. Good player, this uh, Shandri Campbell. One for the future. Yeah, only two league goals, but he has three cup goals as well, Shandri Campbell. And uh, he has been in form, scored a brace against Orlando Pirates in a 3-1 win for Super Sport United alongside of Hrobla just before the Christmas break and then scored another brace against Richards Bay FC that we spoke about in the cup. Didier Gianni with a good run, knocked over by Ndlobu. You know, I want to go back to the, 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 the discipline. I'm not sure if you're uh, a man who likes uh, the art of pugilism, boxing. <laughs> Put it in Lenneman's terms as we see the foul on Velase on Ditti Johnny, beg your pardon. But it was uh, on uh, Saturday night, and Pumani MCB was commentating with Brian Mitchell, a uh, international boxing organization junior bantamweight title fight with uh, Ricardo Malajika. As we watch Chandra Campbell, we'll get to that thought in a moment, or well, we might as well just continue with the thought because <laughs> that wasn't his best effort. Yeah. And uh, for 12 rounds of boxing, that's uh, it might not sound a lot, 36 minutes if you take the uh, breaks in between then it's a bit longer than that, but 36 minutes of boxing. He sat behind the chair, his discipline was incredible. He came out of that fight without a mark on his face, and uh, he was uh, absolutely unbelievable. His opponent had a broken nose, blood all over the place, but, but I'm just talking about the discipline that it takes for every single second of every minute for those 36 minutes. And it's the same in the game of football. You make one mistake, boom, it can cost you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is why we call it tactical discipline. And sometimes pe players become a bit impatient uh, and, and make the wrong choices. But that's what makes football so interesting. It's those uh, choices that have to be made. There we see Goss coming off his line. Uh, he had to come off his line. Mojel is a quick man and Ocon was stretched. All cleared by Gampani Lungo. Not quite the bounce 
that McTonty was looking for. He's a quality player, and, and he's up against a youngster, Samuel Kele Kabini, who starts only for the fourth time tonight. But uh, he has been mighty impressive, and that is exactly why him and Ditejani are retained by coach Ramovic. There's some passes that are going astray, and I tell you what, Max Munya is a quality player. He's not getting, either not getting quality ball, or he's not uh, providing quality positioning at the moment. He's not quite on song. Well, I tell you, both teams are just uh, giving each other so much respect, not really taking any risks. It's a passing game. It's not a game where we see them challenging the space. And that's something that I'm sure will change in the second half. I just want to go back to that graphic as uh, Morgella tries to get the ball of uh, Ricardo Goss, who was off his line for a moment. I just want to go back to that graphic, and it showed you that uh, TS Galaxy have only had one uh, victory in the PSL away from home so far this season. They do have four victories away from home, but uh, don't forget they made the final and lost on penalties against Stellenbosch FC in the calling knockout. They only one uh, match away from home that they've won. Uh, they've only scored two goals and conceded nine. That's the percentage uh, success rate. However, they're in seventh place on the table. And uh, if you look at their cup run, they'll play in the quarterfinals uh, next Sunday against Chippy United. Our Super Sports United will be at home against, away against Stellenbosch FC. But uh, yeah, Ned Van Cup action next week. Well, it's a lovely turn from Mugella. Ocon has to recover. Still a bit of space available for an effort. Kiba. Scored a goal against Amazulu most recently. Mojana at the back post. Oh, it's a lovely recovery from uh, Klatswai, or was it? Well, I tell you, it was a fantastic build-up there from uh, TS Galaxy. A lot of patience shown. The ball was circulated from right to left, and here we see that ball just being chipped in there. Mojana getting on the end of it, but unfortunately for him, there was a player tracking back. I think it was Lungu, actually. Lungu. Yeah. That got a touch, a very important touch. Uh, Rocky? Yeah, crucial, crucial, crucial touch. Mugella had must have had his eyes open like this, but uh, <laughs> yeah, as we say, I mean, you know, for TX Galaxy, the away loss only had one of them in entire season, and it was, quite incidentally, away from home against the bottom side Cape Town Spurs. And that's the sort of danger bottom sides can, uh, you know, provide. Yeah, they're fighting for survival. Absolutely. Little ball into the middle, almost uh, finding Tato Kiba again. At the moment, TX Galaxy applying some uh, late pressure in the first half. They'll slow it down a little bit with Mathbeth Mahlangu. It's interesting to think that a super sport started the season like a house on fire. And if you look at the last five draws that they had, had they turned two or three of them into wins, we would be talking a totally different uh, super sport position now. Definitely second on the table. Sandra Campbell just uh, getting in behind the defense. It's a nice recovery from Macbeth Makhlangu because uh, Max Munyai, for some reason, had dropped into the center of defense and Ditejani had to come back to do a bit of a rescue act, but it was a really nice cover from Makhlangu. Great defending, uh, well-timed. He had to be spot on, uh, otherwise Campbell would have been awarded a foul. Lovely uh, turn by Markaman. This is Vukamanja. Markaman! It's wide. One of the unsung heroes, this man, uh, Mahaman. Absolutely. Uh, uh, he's really a live wire in that super sport midfield, similar to what we see uh, Velasi in the TS Galaxy midfield. Look at that shot there. A little bit off target, fluffed it a bit, you know, just didn't get enough on it. Nurkovic caught in possession by Andlova. That's good work. Markeman jumps onto it immediately. Still another chance for the former Cape Tonian. Markeman still very busy in the area. Macbeth like Maklangu, no panic whatsoever. He just kept his cool and finds and Velase. Mochella will be offside. But uh, anywhere Maklangu wouldn't have been. Goss will clear again. He's had to come off his line a couple of times tonight already to rescue things as there's a foul from Tenda Mudzimu Matodzi. Yeah, clearly yeah, Matodzi getting more than his share of the ball and uh, clearly a foul. But you speak about composure in that box. I mean, the way they played out, Galaxy, really admirable to see. No panic. They were cool and calm and collected. Yeah, they've had uh, 
on occasion their fans with hearts in mouths because uh, this playing out of the defensive position trying to dribble away away from the danger zone has been something that's crept into uh, the TX Galaxy camp for uh, a season or so and uh, yeah it's not everybody's cup of tea and we've seen as well with Fiakar uh, Intuari and Vasiliji Kolak that uh, they've had to play keeper sweeper. Remember when Malusi Butelezi was the goalkeeper at the Rockets before he moved to Orlando Pirates in a prime signing. But uh, he was key in the keeper sweeper role. Well, I tell you, it's a modern trend. It's a trend that is uh, being executed at all levels of football. So why not? I mean, why just hoof the ball away? You know, the old saying, away. It no more, it no more applies. I mean, teams are now playing out of the back. Ocon's giving the ball away. Keeper comes off uh, again to make the clearance. Nobody on the right-hand side. Did it? Johnny had uh, cut onto the inside to try and take advantage. And just for a moment, and not for the first time, Super Sports United looked a little susceptible. And well, uh, Simpson Kazi seems to agree with that. Uh, <laughs> always has uh, the drum across his chest. Well, he's one of those club owners that really get behind his team. It's on the drum, he's always supporting his players down the tunnel. Very, very uh, motivational from the, the boss. I tell you, we saw Goss earlier on there making a, a header that I would say uh, any central defender would be proud of. Nice touch from uh, Matotti putting pressure on the young Cabini, but look at the control from a man only playing in his debut season and only in his fourth encounter. Velase Sanoka got Super Sports United on the back foot. Half TX Galaxy at the moment, maybe just protecting before half time. Completed pass rate is pretty even, Stevens, between the two sides, just shaded by Super Sport United as Capini suddenly goes on the overlap. First time we've seen that from the young fullback. Possession still in favor of Matatsanta Patori as well. And have. Uh, one more corner than TX Galaxy, so most of the uh, statistics in favor of Super Sport United. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. There's a little bit of a breeze that's starting to permeate around the uh, area here. Mojella with a turn, still Mojella. Good cover by Ime Ocon. Velazzi. Space for Mvelazi, and maybe his first touch was a little bit too strong. Couldn't uh, pull the trigger, and good defending again from Ime Ocon. Vukumanja looking to return with interest. But the Rockets have everybody behind the halfway line, including Nurkovic, who's not afraid to drop back and uh, defend from the top. Look at how much space is available in the middle of the park here for Ndlovu. Chandra Campbell. Not the first time we've seen that. Uh, it's not characteristic of him. I know he's uh, been a very a player who's been very consistent. He's looking to hit the ball from distance, and I do think it will take a lot more to beat the likes of Mutuari from that distance. Yeah, he's frustrated with himself, but he probably knows how to change things. There wasn't anybody really running through, so that ball played at that trajectory isn't... First of all, the direction's not right, it's the wrong ball, totally. Yeah, I think you should, you should either dump the ball or keep the ball and look for a pass and, and get within range, more balanced, and maybe then take the shot. Yeah, I was thinking maybe retain possession for a while. Max Munyai in the meantime with Dede Jani. Uh, he's got a big job on his hands tonight as the former Chiefs man up against uh, this gentleman, captain of Super Sports United, Onusma Basera. Only his 11th appearance in the season, all of them in the starting lineup, but my goodness me, the work rate and the quality that he possesses and uh, complete commitment is unbelievable. Well, it's going to be interesting to see the creativity that TS Galaxy show with this uh, corner kick. Uh, they're just going to look to get the likes of Nurkovic behind it or underneath it. We'll have to wait and see. You know, like in the last two matches against the Kozulu Nutel opposition on Mozilla and Royal AM, this is exactly the game plan that TX Galaxy employed. Press, but don't press uh, too much. Look for a bit of a counter-attack. Contain possession. Keep a bit of energy as Goss tries to punch. Almost cleared off the line by Ocon. And eventually will be cleared. 
by uh, Gopani Lungu. Easily contained by Kiba. It's a nice touch from him as well. Mojela. Spiba Maklangu comes up on the right hand side suddenly. Nobody there for the second ball. Fatigue's Galaxy have kept their opposition the last two matches goalless until half time. And in the second half, have come in and scored goals. Are we going to see that for the third time in a row tonight as the rain continues to fall today? Ricardo Goss will turn 30 on Tuesday. In fact, uh, it was uh, during the week, I do beg your pardon. So he's just turned 30 this uh, past week as Ricardo Goss, 30 and a couple of days old now. First half stoppage time, only one minute added on by referee Masif Kola Bambizo. It hasn't been a match with any injuries, so we saw that just a one little niggle for Fiacre and Tuari, the goalkeeper of TX Galaxy, as Ditijani gets held at bay again by Ornus Mabasera. He's going to have to come up with something very special, the TX Galaxy right wing, if he's going to get past uh, Basera. Kiba, Nurkivic, Ditijani! Oh my goodness me! A little touch was there inside of Basera, but he was offside by just a fraction, one feels. That's uh, Lubobaro Picha. One can understand, looking at uh, the skill from Puso Ditejani, just why he's the flavor of the month, or one of the flavors of the month out in Mbombela. Look at how hard the rain's falling here. Yeah, it's coming down in buckets, but the band is in high spirit and is just uh, cheering the team along. Well, cheering the team along will be the bench players as well as the coaches as they head to two Super Sports United and TX Galaxy down the tunnel for some respite from the monsoon conditions here at the Lucas Masterpieces Budapest Stadium. No goals in the first half, some enterprising plays, some mistakes in there as well, but some enterprise from particularly Lechlon Olo Magella. Like the way that uh, Nurkovic is positioning himself, Kiba and Balasi important in the midfield. For Super Sports United, Lungu doing well at right back, Matonzi on the right wing as well, Becerra imperious. And uh, I think we expect a little bit more from Zvukamanja because Markaman is playing well. Campbell maybe needs to just tidy up the, the crosses into the penalty area. But uh, yeah, there's always work to be done. Doesn't matter what level you're playing at. Half time then in Attridgeville, Super Sports United nil, Tears Galaxy nil. Looking forward to an enterprising second half.
There's so much excitement on your World of Champions with the what's coming up with WrestleMania tomorrow. Make sure you strap yourself in. It's available on Access now, and you can check out what's going on as far as WrestleMania is concerned. And then do not miss as well tomorrow night chasing the sun 2 episode 3 episode 1 was sensational the story around money libok i loved it Se ex second episode was glued to the screen stuff with how the box uh, played against the irish and i can't wait to find out what happens in episode 3 i just can't wait it's going to be brilliant now let's uh, take a look at what's going on as far as the score and the stats are concerned it's been a tight affair and galaxy have not brought some of the form that we know that they can bring into this one. Only two attempts, none of them on target, and they've won their last two games. And they've got Nurkovic up front, but they can't find him. Yeah, I think it's just been a physical battle in that midfield, and that's uh, the game of super sports. I mean, Nurkovic is even just dropping in that midfield, mm. trying to run away from Tyson. So once they dominate uh, that ball, I think they'll be much better. Yeah, Balega. Yeah. Hey, Tyson. Uh, when you have a nickname like Tyson, that uh, <laughs> is uh, one of the reasons why others may run away from you. Will the piano find the net in the second half? Can Supersport United and Gavin Hunt find a way at home to avoid another draw and be six draws in a row? What happened? The chances that were created, half chances, some brilliant football in the build-up here. Mugella with one of the passes of the match. He's, he's really using the spaces that uh, Nakovic is creating. Mashangu should be trying to go across the goal. He's going for that near post. Mm. That's why he does not get the ball on target. But I love what uh, Nakovic is doing. He might not be uh, making contact with the ball, but his movement, the way he creates the space for Mujela to pick up and then find Mashangu, go across the goal, boy, then they've got a better chance of hitting target. But he goes for that near post. That's why it goes wide. And you can see the reaction there from Goss in goal. He sees that there was real danger there, and he's off to have huge complaints to the rest of the defence to say, how is it that they've got in behind us so easily. Then, the second opportunity, again, a half opportunity here for uh, the boys in the red and the black, as it requires Gampani Lungu to come back and make sure that uh, Mugella doesn't score. Mugella involved here on the left-hand side. Yeah, it does really well in the 1v1 situation, uh, but forcing the turnover once again, Test Galaxy closing their lines in the wide areas, rotating the ball, but once again, I thought yeah, Mugella could have gone for the header. Doesn't really have much of the time, not knowing who's coming behind mm. him. Lungu does well. He's not known for the defensive work, Lungu, but when this cross comes in and Mugella finds himself in all this space, he thinks, for sure, I'm going to score. A little bit uh, late, that is um, Lungu in recovering, but Mujela should be aware of the space he's, he's in. He does not scan, so he does not know what's happening behind him. As Toki says, he takes it take a first time, he gets that on target, he stands a chance of scoring a goal, but it takes too long, he gives time to uh, Lungu to then recover. And if he also maybe puts himself between the ball mm. and Lungu, Lungu has to touch him. Penalty. Yeah, I think it's just the awareness because he would have known. Just drop the shoulder, mm. make sure that you protect yourself from the defender. Probably could have had a chance. It took a very long time for Supersport United to find any kind of attempt on goal. And it wasn't even on goal. But the build-up play, once again, was what Gavin Hunt would have been looking for here as Mahaman finds himself uh, profiting from the work done by Chukamanja. He starts it wide. Uh, uh, uh that is uh, Mahaman plays the ball into the box. He makes that late run, good all that play in the, in the box. When the ball comes back to him, he's looking to generate more power than hitting target. And that's why he drags it a little bit wide. But that was one of the few opportunities that Supersport had in, the, in this game. But is that midfield uh, battle, the tactical battle in that midfield, Ndovo and Mahaman, they're not dealing well with the extra player dropping into that midfield. That's something that... Uh, uh, um, uh, Hunty mm. needs to correct it that time. As you speak about uh, Gavin Hunt, the question now becomes, Amanda, can he afford to leave one of the top goal scorers in the league in Bradley Krobler there? Mm. He has the other big man in uh, Igadoro there. And we know how good they are when they go with the big men. Yeah, I think maybe Bradley Krobler could fence his chances. I mean, he was uh, injured, maybe coming in the second half would mm. help. Still surprised that Lila Kay also is on the bench, knowing uh, how incredible he is on set pieces, mm. just even with crosses. So those are three subs that could easily be made to make Supersport United a lot more cutting going the other direction. How should Sia Dramovic feel after 45 minutes? 
I think there's nothing really to change from both teams. It's just trigger a little bit uh, the tactics of the game to mm. say maybe play Nakovic first, they let him hold up the ball, then Mujela goes on those runs. But he's going a little bit too early without distracting the defence. Mm. But on the other side, Laila K can bring an impact from the bench, set plays, Hrobla deadly in the air. I, I think Gavin Ant is winning this one off the bench. All right, let's see if that is the case. Will the benches be the secrets? Stay with us to find out. Of being falling 
throughout the half time and it continues to fall as we get uh, prepared to start the second half here. Teeks Galaxy will have the center off under the mentorship of uh, match referee Masik Pole Bambi. So Nurkovic will get us underway. TX Galaxy in the strip of red and black defending the goal to the right hand side of your screen while Super Sports United in the all blue tonight and we'll play from uh, left to right. No changes made at halftime. Farouk Khan rejoins me upstairs in commentary for the second half of this one. And uh, yeah, how difficult is it, coach, to play in these sort of uh, conditions? It's a, it's a deluge out there. Yeah, well, absolutely. It's uh, wet underfoot. It's a very soggy pitch. And obviously the bounce is different. Uh, the trajectory is different when you strike the ball. So you've got to change and uh, keep the ball better because if you play the ball as we've seen there long, the chances it will just skid up that surface, which is very, very greasy. Uh, very greasy indeed. Almost an opportunity for Zivuwe Magitigi. Youngster that's also been employed. A former Ubuntu Cape Town FC player. Playing in just his second appearance for Super Sports United after having represented the brand against uh, Abafana Bestende on Wednesday, the 3rd of, March, of, of April. Remember Ubuntu Cape Town FC when they played in the first division about three seasons ago under Casey Prince. Doing a good job with an academy down there. Not such a great pass, to be honest, from Grant Markaman. He's a very, very much a quality player. And uh, one of the rare mistakes you'll see from the 25-year-old. Incredible to think that he's only 25, the contribution that he continues to make. Nice touch from Capini. Waibam Velase. Mklangu. Mochela. Nurkiewicz, nice touch from Ocon. And I think that uh, will be a throw into Super Sports United. They want to take it quickly. But uh, Kabini gets in the way. And the referee is going to come and uh, give a yellow card to the young fullback. I'm not quite sure whether that was intentional. It didn't appear to be intentional. Well, I think the referee seems to think so. Well, I think Kabini knew what he was doing there. You can see he's stopping him from throwing the ball. And that is why the referee has. Uh, decided to book him a little bit naughty from it but but this is a time in the game uh, Kev where you need to keep the ball and attack with the ball at your feet it makes it a, a nightmare for defenders to deal with somebody running at them under these conditions that's quite incredible we spoke about the record of uh, Super Sports United as Nurkovic picks up here and looks for Mojela now wasn't that an intentional foul from Klatswayo definitely was similarly to what we saw the referee didn't think so it was obstruction we spoke about the uh, record of the six draws in seven matches for Super Sports United, and uh, except for the match against Golden Arrows, all the rest of them were 1 1 draws. So they haven't had a goalless draw in an awfully long time, have uh, Super Sports United. In fact, one has to go back to the beginning of the season and a match against Amazulu in round two for a goalless draw. So 1 1 draws, the predominant factor for Super Sports United. It's 0 0 at the moment. But I want to uh, just illustrate something for the viewers in a moment. Let's watch Mochella because he's uh, an interesting player. Ball bouncing awkwardly. This is Kiba. Yeah, you Thought can it see. might have been a deflection there, but uh, yeah. It, it was a deflection, Kev. But you can see what Kiba was trying to do. He was just trying to bend it towards the far post. Uh, here you see the ball coming back here. He is very composed. Just tries to chip that ball with a bit of a swerve uh, towards the far post. Now, you see Nurkovic putting his hand up as if to say Kiba should have uh, looked for him. Kiba would have looked for him if Nurkovic was onside. He yes, was off. He was off. a meter. <laughs> exactly. And that forced the hand of Kiba then to look for the top left hand corner. Well, that's playing intelligence. We spoke about it earlier on in a good decision. I don't think Nurkovic realized he was. But this is where. Things are going to be a bit difficult for Supersport. It's coming down. It's belting down the rain. Tato Kiba plays it short, easily defended. Munya is done nicely, but now he's just out of position, and there's an opportunity for Chandra Campbell to break. It's a bit of ball from Chandra Campbell as well. Really good chance for Matozzi. Cover from Kabini came back just in the nick of time. Yeah, very difficult one for Matozzi. The bounce, we spoke about it. Very awkward under these conditions. Campbell doing very well here to get the diagonal ball to him. But you look at his first touch. Just got caught in there. And he just sliced off his boot. Very, very difficult conditions. And uh, to be fair to Matozzi, not an easy strike to make. 
We were chatting in the first half about game plans as we uh, check out the only goal that Matotti scored so far this season. Came against uh, Swallows with a goal that came from Igodoro as well in a victory away in Dobsonville by two goals to one. But uh, let's talk about game plans. You spoke about game plans in the first half and our coach has a preferred game plan. I just want to make an illustration as to TX Galaxy in the last two matches against uh, Amazulu and Royal AM as Matella again goes on the breakaway. Nice cover from Ndlobo, although it is a free kick that's been awarded to the Rockets. TX Galaxy held Amazulu and Royal AM in consecutive matches, 0-0 at halftime. In the second half, TX Galaxy then beat Amazulu 2-0. They beat uh, Royal AM 3-0 in the second half of those matches with a changed game plan. Yeah, exactly what we see there by Mojela. In the second half, they threw caution to the wind. They decided to challenge the spaces more. They de decided to attack with the ball at their feet. And that's where, you know, you've got to take risks. Early on, we saw both teams just sitting back with numbers. And that is why we didn't get close to any shots on target. But this is, uh, yeah, the game plans of the said Ramovic and why his success is growing and growing. Kiba to the edge of the penalty area. Well, that's not going in the direction that they wanted. The Rockets, Didijani, turn for Cabini, Didijani again, I wonder if he's going to pull the trigger, he doesn't, but there's opportunity now, and that's how they've opened the defences, time and time again in the second half of the season, the Rockets, as they take the lead here in Attridgeville. Well, I tell you, uh, Kev, our words were not cold. We said if they run at this defense of Supersport, that is what they do often, as you said, in the second half. And that is why it's so difficult to defend against a team like Galaxy, because they go for, 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 for the, the, the jugular. And there we see them scoring a goal. Good combination play. Ball played in behind. And there we see the chairman enjoying this goal. It seems like he knows it was coming. And Point Velasi scores for just the second time this season. There you see it. Good combination play. Ball played in behind. And that is where you see a great ball played and Velasi on the end of it. We know how important he is to this team. Gets involved in both the defensive and attacking phase. What a well-taken goal. Goss couldn't get to it. Very difficult under these circumstances and a well-taken goal. Look at the celebration. It's a muted, it's a muted one. It's giving thanks. He's giving not thanks. Only for, not only for the rain. The conductor. <laughs> Takes Galaxy. Spring the trap in the seventh minute of the second half. They lead by a goal to nil. That's now nine goals unanswered. And uh, in the last uh, two matches, and uh, three if you take this one into consideration, six goals in the second half of matches after goalless first halves. It's been an incredible strategy, and as you say, Coach Farouk, the uh, pressure that they apply during the second half of matches and the chances that they take and the risks that are there and are converted are quite remarkable. Cabini into the back of Kiba. Markerman is always a dangerous player. The ball doesn't quite reach Campbell. Well, I think Gavin will want them uh, to slow things down and not just hoof the ball as you've seen Markerman do there. Referee Masi Kolo Mambiso. There was a bit of lightning around. I don't think the referee uh, is going to appreciate that too much. There'll be some consultation with his assistant referees and with the fourth official, too, and also with the match commissioner, Mr. Robert Titole. They might even have the players off here for a while, you know. And uh, that, for me, might very well play in the hands of Super Sport United. Yeah, well, at this juncture, KTS Galaxy wouldn't want the game to be stopped. And it's not is they've decided amongst the refereeing panel that they will continue. Oh, a lovely return of the ball by uh, Lungu to Nurkovic. Nurkovic. Well, he says there to the referee, I play the ball, and you can see his coach agrees with him. Definitely play the ball, a referee got that one wrong. Yeah, Coach Ramovic isn't terribly pleased with that situation, and uh, neither was Mojela. He's played the ball, even though it's uh, start showing, but he's played the ball. ...with that challenge. Taking conditions into consideration, but uh, he's used the conditions perfectly Excellent. as the Serbian striker. Yeah. Players about to come on for Super United. And, uh, Lekay is one of them. Bradley Krobler is the two of them. They have 12 goals this season. Lekay would play on the left-hand side of attack, and uh, Bradley Krobler as a number nine. 
In the meantime, Magidi Didi, pick your pardon, Magidi Gidi misses out with a touch. I'm sure, Magidi Gidi will make way. Mochella in the meantime, if he'd got a touch on that one, it could have been trouble again for Ricardo Goss. We did speak about Gavin uh, having to make a change. He's now a CNT bringing in his uh, marksman, uh, that is a uh, Hrobler. And uh, the service, looking to get the service from Lekay. Now, Gavin Hunt's not happy with his side playing behind the halfway line either, as there's a strong challenge from Magiti Giti, who's more than likely the player to make way for Bradley Hrobler. Away by Pukiso Sunoka. Gianni under pressure. Sera. Away by Munyai. Nurkibich. So will Flatswayo. It's a nice, nice little pirouette. Super sickly and global. Former Pirates man. Other. But in the meantime, Super Sports United are starting to play some good football. TX Galaxy, currently on a live standing table, will be fifth behind Second Kuhn United, Pirates, Stellenbosch FC, and Mamelodi Sunday. Incredible season so far. And the Position and then coming up with a risky chance. Masterpieces Moripa Stadium in Pretoria. The rain is causing a breakup in our pictures, and we will get back to those pictures as soon as uh, we're able to. However, fortunately, we saw the goal, and we saw TS Galaxy go into the lead now, a lead that they may keep and potentially go on to a third victory in a row for them against a Super Sports United now team that are scrambling to make changes, Amanda. We saw Gavin go straight to the bench after mm -hmm. the goal has happened, and he's trying to make sure that he can get back into this game, potentially get an equaliser. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of an impact and maybe just a response as well. But mm. I think um, TS Galaxy making sure that they grab the opportunity. Mm. A much better way of the TS Galaxy in terms of how they usually approach the game. Going out wide, getting the crosses. And those late runs from the likes of Velasse in midfield truly benefiting the team. Velasse finding the back of the net. Our pictures are back for us there. And you can see one of the changes as we come back there as Lyle Lakay has been brought on and so has Bradley Krobela. What's he trying to achieve now? He's trying to to achieve the width, he wants uh, Laila Cage to give them the width to be able to bring on those crosses uh, for Bradley Krobla, who's deadly in the air. Maybe that's what they need. He's also a set-piece specialist. Maybe they can get a set play in and around the mm. box and he can be deadly with that educated left foot. Well, let's see if it works. It looks like the pictures have stabilized. Let's get back to our commentators. It is raining cats and dogs. Supersport United are down against Galaxy and there's still plenty to play for in this one. If you take added time in, in three minutes, probably about another 33 minutes, well over half an hour still remaining, and Super Sports United are a quality side. Well, it's often a case when you've just scored, uh, you sit back a bit just to absorb the pressure. And this is an important time for Super Sport to make use of this a uh, couple of minutes to at least uh, put TS Galaxy under some pressure. Look at the cover having to be made by Marx Munyai, who was just sucked into the middle of the park for a moment. Bradley Krobler waiting at the back post and Klovu looking for the creation and uh, a little bit enthusiastic with a touch. And that's uh, Anusma Basera. As much as uh, the coach Ramovic has uh, tactically organized his team to score in the second half, he's also prepared them defensively to deal with the pressure after having scored. That's important. We've seen uh, Supersport in their last game, they were 2-0 up 
didn't hang on to it, didn't manage it, and they were punished and they, they only took a point away from home. It's a great case in point. Kings Galaxy lead by one goal to nil in Velase with 32nd goal of the season. It's a very, very busy evening for both of these sides. Busy part of the season as well. Both sides will be involved in uh, cup competition over next weekend. Super Sports United away against Stellenbosch FC and TX Galaxy at home against Chippy United. The rain is pouring in uh, Ettridgeville, and those guys, sometimes ladies as well, are bringing you the pictures live on your World of Champions. Yeah, that's uh, a yeah, dedication, that's, you know, tell in you those what, conditions, eh? absolutely. Take your head off for them. In the meanwhile, our director in the van is, uh, has got an air conditioner. My goodness. Well, I tell you, our, our, our complete crew uh, are above the call of duty tonight. Totally. Markerman loses his ground, but I'll tell you what, it's good defending, and I'll tell you why it's good defending. Because the touchline was used as an extra defender. We speak about it so often that sometimes the players are not um, mindful that they can just box a play in, and Markerman was boxed in there very nicely by Mpum Velase. Well, it's something you teach young players to do, their body position, whether it be a, a kick from a keeper where you force him in one direction, and as you mentioned there, Velase pushing Markerman wide. Yeah. Above the call Look of duty. At that. Look at that. Yeah. First responders and uh, yo. You want to be a cameraman on your World of Champions? Well, maybe you aspire to be a cameraman. This is what it takes. It's nice to be in the sunshine. It's nice to be, you know, doing all sorts of sports when the weather's lacquer. These guys are earning bucks tonight. They're earning their, their uh, stripes here big time. Not forgetting the players on the field doing their but and I mean just to bring this production to everybody at home and on this uh, it's an incredible feat it really is I mean the signal and uh, you know the, uh, the, the, the 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 cameramen the referees the assistant referees the players the coaches this medical staff it really is an unbelievable situation the rain is pouring down the wind is swirling around in Atridgeville we've had one goal tonight and a well taken goal at that yeah very much so Super Sports United on the side that are applying pressure. They have been for the last five minutes. Touch uh, from the new player, Lila Kay, from the left hand side. He's going to be instrumental down there. And so, for that matter, is the fullback, Anusma Basera, who's the skipper. But away by Max Munyai. Nurkovic back in defense. Swept up towards Mugella. Mugella has been held back by Hatwayo. Well, he's been a handful, Mugella, and Tlatwayo forced to uh, just put a hand on him and pull him back. Now, I'll tell you what, if uh, he hadn't committed that as a professional foul just about, and Mugella had got behind him, it might have been one-on-one uh, -on -one with Ricardo Goss. Ball within Velase, the goal scorer. Little slider into the legs of Bradley Krobler, and I think the referee's gone to the pocket here. Velasi yeah. will pick up a yellow card. Well, a bit of a, a difficult one. The conditions are bad. And I think in fairness, uh, Velasi had no intention of uh, fouling the player there. It was just the conditions that make things so difficult. Substitution time then for TX Galaxy or the... Uh, Making their first substitution of the game. Come on, hello. Sabili so Bili will uh, make his arrival in the place of Spiwe Maklangu now. Sabili so Bili, normally a, a right winger, and uh, Sabili Maklangu out on the left hand side. So maybe it's going to be the youngster, Didier Jani, who will play inverted. In the meantime, Dwari has to make up. You know, this, this, this match is well set for mistakes, slips. We've already seen that uh, yellow card from Velasi who just slid unfortunately into Bradley Krobler but uh, you know the referee has to be on point as far as these decisions are concerned as Marks Munyai looks to make some uh, presence felt it's a strong challenge 
of Didier Gianni. Well, the ball is much heavier, so is the pitch. So when you pass that ball, you've got to put a bit more power on it. Your weight of your pass has to be better. So Billy Billy does slot onto the left-hand side of the attack for TX Galaxy, and uh, that leaves Yelta Didier Gianni free on the right to continue his battle with the captain of Super Sport United. 20 minutes into the second half, the Rockets lead by a goal to nil. Looking for their first ever away victory against Matatante Pettori and to go fifth on the table above their opponent tonight. Conditions far from ideal. Far from ideal, but in some way could favor Supersport if they get the likes of Kroblen. That man there, Zugumanja on it. Yeah, especially Zugumanja, from crosses. Yeah, he's drifted a little bit more onto the left hand side. Well, he doesn't have to because Lakay's out there, but uh, Krobla has drifted into the middle now this is Gompani Lungu has two goals a season Markerman with a shot it was a slight deflection from Hrobla yeah, well it's one of those that can end up in the back of the net a deflection it's wet underfoot the ball skids and, and this is what we're going to see Super Sport do as uh, the clock runs down they're going to get more balls into those areas and yeah, there must have been a touch from a TX Galaxy player it is a corner to Matatanta Lalakea across to take it 32 year old started in the free state with free state stars hit up straight to the rwandan goalkeeper he's looked very composed very accomplished as a fiacre and tuari all players looking to make the appearance keegan allen who uh, at one stage played for tux and then went and signed for swallows alongside of etiosha igodaro so they bring on igodaro Super Sports United, then those three bench players with 16 goals between them are on the pitch, and Keegan Allen will uh, play in defense somewhere. Maybe he'll come on for Gampani Lungu, or maybe Gampani Lungu will be allowed to push into a more attacking position. But uh, we wait to see what the plans of Gavin Hunt are. We know for sure that it's uh, looking for a goal that's uh, undoubted as uh, Matotti finds Fiacre and Tuari. Well, I, th I think it's going to be the latter, uh, Kevin, what you mentioned. Lungu could push up higher. I think Kev is going to go with three at the back, looking to chase this game and increase uh, the number of attackers. Let's see if he does that. Well, this is going to tell us, isn't it? It is, in fact, uh, Matodzi, the uh, right winger who's uh, going to make way for Keegan Allen. Can play at, uh, in the fullback role. And also... Looks like uh, and this is Mabasera making way for Etiosa Igodaro. Well, that's an interesting one. He's taken off the veteran and uh, brought on another striker. So Allen will drop back into the center of defense. Matotzi's come off and just a bit of reorganization because the Campani Lungu then will push from right back to right wing, in my opinion. Allen will drop into the uh, fullback position. And of course, Igodaro will play up front along with the Bradley Krobler and Terence Bukumanja. So they're going for broke here, Super Sports United. They've got the big guns on the pitch. Yeah, they're going to go with a back three now and look to just get that ball forward and hope to get something for their effort. So indeed, it is uh, Allen at uh, right back. Lungu moved from right back to right wing and uh, Igodaro in the middle. 25-year-old Nigerian started his career with Tux in uh, the capital and uh, moved down to Chippy United with a plum signing to a Premier League side and uh, since been signed by Gavin Hunt. Team's Galaxy only lead by a goal to nil. There's still uh, more than 20 minutes.
running Itiosa Igodaro. He's a big unit, it's Igodaro. Well, that's not uh, the best of challenges from Allen. Not because he knocked over Igodaro, um, uh, Nurkovic, but he's now out of position. So Pili Pili has done well. Allen's done even better. And along with Ocon, Super Sport United defended more than adequately. Svukamanja beaten to the ball by Marx Munyai. They're asking questions here, both sides, and Super Sport United were two to four in the last ten minutes or so, but suddenly it's TX Galaxy who have decided that they want to play the game on the front foot. And if they score a second goal, then Super Sport United uh, will have even a greater task. Igodaro in the meantime, trying to get away from Cabini. Marhaman. away from home a probable chase I don't think there's too much of a problem for Mark Munyai who will waste a little bit of time yeah, they're going to look to run on the clock through lots of time a lot can happen in the last uh, 17 plus some that is optimal time now these are exceptionally difficult conditions to play football day look around not only the slippery surface talk about the visibility so many different things and uh, if the uh, lightning has persisted, I think the safety matters uh, really must be talking about Bisa would have had the players down the tunnel. The lightning has stuck around for too long. Teams are going to look to play long of the second ball cap. You can't risk playing out of the back. We've seen Antwari as well as uh, Goss, but it's been more Antwari now since uh, Supersport has been looking to get that equalizer. Last time that uh, Supersport United suffered a lot of home was 2 0 against Emily Sundowns at the end of November last year. So it's been a couple of months.
back. Looking to see what covers available. Billy Billy already on the field of play, but uh, do have a right back in in quarter corner. Radebe just trying to stretch out to the, the lock that he's taken. You know, matches coming thick and fast, and the players at the moment, those involved in the league action and in cup competition, are playing midweek, weekend, midweek, weekend, continuously. And it's going to continue like that for a little while. Yes, I think the players are on the break now, between now and the weekend for those that are playing in the Netflix Cup and that two-week break for those that aren't. Like Kaiser Chiefs, for instance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, after today's results, Kaiser Chiefs have quite a bit of time to go back to the uh, drawing board to sort themselves out. Possible because of the fact that Supersport are throwing numbers for it. They may be caught on transition, on offensive transition, and uh, they got to be careful. But the same applies to TS Galaxy. It's not over yet. Keegan Allen, shoot on sight, will be a, a modern instruction and uh, arms in the air from Bradley Crobler saying, well, there seemed to be a channel open if the youngster had uh, decided to choose that. Keegan Allen. in the meantime. Ocon, that's why I'll turn off Matatante Vittori to uh, play an attacking role. Okay, to a global. Takes Galaxy being forced into uh, do a spot of defending, but they very well adapt to that. So they do the third time. Normally in the second half of matches, or most recently anyway, they Quite a dominant role, but they're up against a Super Sport United coach, who an absolute legend. Lovely gusting run in the area, and there's a shot that goes wide! Great build-up! The final product is not quite working. It's excellent from Egodaro. Very promising run there. It seemed like none of the TS Galaxy players were prepared to close him down. And uh, a little bit unfortunate that he didn't get... Look at him go. I mean, you just see the, 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 the Galaxy players backing off, getting flat-footed there. And the keeper there, Dwari, fuming. Look at that. And he just placed the ball. Instead of going for power, he had the whole of the goal showing should have done better Igadaro. Great defending once again there. Uh, fantastic tackle there from Makango. Looking at the combox window, I think one of your predictions is going to come true, and that is uh, something that's happened in the last couple of matches for TX Galaxy. They'll bring on Umrokisi Mpunchana, the 33 year old. As Kapini tries to turn, so does Bradley Krobler. Dinks it wide. So substitution time here for Teague's Galaxy. Umbunjana and uh, Oribotsi Mongai was given to us and has played in the uh, number 27 jersey this season. And he was given to us as 27 on the score sheet, but he's wearing number seven. Nurkovic will make way as he so often does. And so will Ditejani. 
So fresh pairs of legs on. Oribote Mumai. And also Mlungizi Mbunjana. And Mbunjana, for me, will just uh, look to control the midfield, spread passes around, make sure that there is no damage done. It's an interesting play, Mbunjana. Comes on for the seventh time as a sub. He has played 12 times in the starting lineup as Mlungizi. Former All Stars FC and Highlands Park player. In fact, he's one of the few Highlands Park players that uh, moved when the status was bought in 2020 by Tim Sukazi from uh, the Capital family and uh, associates. Another one of those players was Marks Muniai and also uh, Spiwe Machlan. Still about 10 minutes remaining. A bit of frustration for the attackers, uh, Igor Dara in particular. TS Galaxy quite happy to waste a little bit of time here and there. The experience of Marks Munyai will always uh, work to their favour. Well, they're looking to manage the remaining minutes by bringing in the likes of Mbunjana as well as Mungai. Uh, they're not going to just sit back. They realise that it's better to get the ball upfield instead of defending deep. And you know how dangerous super sport can be when you're defending as deep as uh, we've seen some... Uh, some of the times that the uh, Galaxy have. Keegan Allen, Kampani Lungu. He's got a ball over the touchline. That's great defending from Sabili Bili. And as they say, the entire circumference of the ball must be over the line. You must see a daylight. L like in the Champions League Absolutely. quarterfinal. Absolutely. That's what I'm alluding to. There. Chase on here for Toto Kiba. Mugella gets on his bicycle. He's a very quick man indeed. He's forcing the issue here with uh, Lila Kay. Commits the foul as well. Does uh, the 27 year old. Well, I suppose uh, Galaxy will feel the race is almost run, but they no need to take that foot off the pedal. Super Sport United want to win this match and. Uh, Going to fourth place above second, Cooney United. They left to score twice without reply. At the moment, TX Galaxy looking to eclipse their opponent tonight as the clearance comes from Sabili Bili. Gepani Lungu. Oh, there's a bit of a miscue here, and uh, no more dangerous player than Bradley Krobler. Piles on the pressure and uh, challenged by Markeman all over Viakre and Tuari. Uh, it seems he's lacking uh, a bit of a. Collision there it seems to have come out the worst. Elbows, taken one to the elbow. Quite a, a dramatic exhibition there. He, you know, he just got kicked, I think, by Bradley Crobber. It was a one-on-one -on -one ball. I don't think it was any intent. He's a terribly nice chap, is uh, Bradley Crobler. Well, it's that header from Velasi that caused all the problems. And the conditions again led to that, the ball bouncing very awkwardly, coming off the, the surface. They'll want Ntwari to be in tip-top condition here because all of that led to a corner kick for Supersport United. minutes in stoppage time away from full time there will be some stoppage time added on encouragement for the goalkeeper if you in Tuari. in the meantime Lila Kay looking for a pinpoint delivery <laughs> in fact it was Keegan Allen always hungry and Bunjana back defending successive corners here for Super Sports United does it go in the same place or is it a little deeper no it's a bit more shallow and Velasi will clear. Oh, Lila Kay makes a nonsense of it. A very awkward ball there, just skid off the surface. Took a, had a lot of pace on it, and you can see Gavin there looking uh, wet and dejected. Yeah, 
the rain not falling with the same velocity it as it has been for some little while. Throw in from Cabini. Hit away by Sanoka. Just hesitant on the balls. Vukumanja plays it back into his uh, danger zone. Where Hrobler was waiting. Lots nice cut from Max Monyoy again. Lots of nerve, Kev. I mean, at this stage of the game, any mistake could lead to a goal. Lots of pressure on a TS Galaxy. TS Galaxy dominating possession in the last five minutes, but it's Super Sports United are putting on the pressure now. Keegan Allen came on as a substitute. There's still work to be done for Super Sports United. Another minute ticks by Goss. Touch for Bradley Hrobla. Nice little run on the overlap from Etioso Igodaro. He does have capabilities, but uh, he's not going to get past Munyai that way. And again, they try to dribble their way out of the area. Well, first time they did anyway. Now the long ball up towards uh, Oribotsi Mongai, who's taken over the run of uh, the responsibilities of the runner behind uh, Mugella. Without Nurkovic up front, they aren't able to keep that ball up. They need to keep the ball better. Instead of just hoofing it upfield, keep the ball better and look to play out of defense because once they give it back to Supersport, it just comes back again. Sioma gets his uh, touch and uh, goes past the team. It's been kept in play nicely though by Mugella. Oh, that's too easy a hitter for Ime Okon. Into the final minute then of regulation time. There will be anxious moments for both coaches, Kevin Hunt and Said Ramovic. As you said, Super Sports United have never lost at home to TX Galaxy. The last time they lost a home match was against uh, the log leaders, Mamelodi Sundowns, in late November. TX Galaxy on the back of five now clean sheets, nine goals, and uh, fifth place on the table. Absolutely unbelievable since. Uh, the Christmas break and don't forget I was having a chat to Tim Sakazi when I was out in Nelspreit on Wednesday he said don't forget we went to Europe and we played against top quality European opposition and uh, and it's and it's paid dividends and this man the work that he's done behind the scenes and his philosophies and uh, the tactics and the disciplines that he's brought into TX Galaxy have been absolutely immense now he's played a huge role uh, this man uh, says Ramovic hasn't had a coaching uh, history before coming to the club but what a fantastic job he's, uh, he's, uh, he's done here at uh, TS Galaxy ball off the head of uh, Munyai corner to Super Sports United Tim Sikazi stops beating the drum for a moment in front of the band because these will always be anxious moments last time they played to a draw was against Richards Bay FC on the 9th of March last time they played to a score draw was uh, in the calling knockout final against uh, Stellenbosch FC and Tuari. It's a handball. Oh no, he's been fouled. He's been fouled. In fact, he was being uh, pushed out towards uh, the, uh, the line there by Tyson. Now it's at stake in since uh, the absence of Anisma Basera, Slatsmayo takes over the captain's armband. He's not a stranger to leading a team. He has done that in the past at Fitz and at Orlando Pirates, probably national level as well, national team level. Allen with a challenge, Sabili Bili the closest, throw into TX Galaxy. Well, I would think that uh, TS Galaxy as well as Ramovic would want them to keep the ball for the last couple of minutes. If you just kick the ball up front, 
as I said earlier on, it comes back. Keep the ball and run down the clock. Defend with the ball at your feet. Chiefs Galaxy are now two and a half minutes away in stoppage time from uh, their first ever victory away from home against Super Sports United. Fifth on the table. We've given you all those stats. So Pili Pili is claiming to be knocked over. But he won't get the decision this time. And point Velase. He had a sterling game this evening. Did everything right, linking up defense to attack and scoring that important goal. Marcheman goes back to Ricardo Goss. Long one forward, Krobler will knock it down. Zvukamanja, Krobler again, he's always going to be a danger. Kepani Lungu can't latch on, so Billy Billy can. And again, they try to play their way out of these sort of situations. They've done nicely. Tyson Klatswayo has done even better. Igor Doro. Lakay, always a danger. Lungu, Sabili Pili defends beautifully. Keegan Allen, Markaman, Allen on the overlap. No, sir. 90 seconds away from a TS Galaxy victory. As far as the log standings are concerned, it will be double figures in their 21st uh, match of the season. They still have. Uh, a couple of matches to play, both home and away against Mamelodi Sundowns, which is no easy task. One could attest this is week 23 of the league. They have two, those two matches in hand to TX Galaxy. But the victory will take them up to 34 points and well clear of any troubles with relegation. I don't think that's even a thought these days in Mbombela. Yeah, no, they have really uh, done extremely well under this man, Shad Nurkovic. You can see... Uh, He's hoping that those last few seconds just run down. And uh, a win year away from home will be such a huge, huge victory for TS Galaxy. That's how the lock standings will be. That's a live table. That's how it is as it stands now and as it will be in a couple of seconds' time when the final whistle goes. You know, one has to give a special mention to uh, um, Greg Tafia, the goalkeeping coach of the Rockets, who has done an absolutely brilliant job. I mean, if you look at his goalkeepers, five clean sheets at the moment. Bunjana trying to clear, and anywhere will do by TX Galaxy with Mojella. Well, you mentioned Greg Idafia. Oh, yeah, look at this. Keepers uh, off his line, but uh, no contact really made by Mlungisi and Bunjana. Well, and the four minutes added on by the referee have uh, elapsed now, and uh, TX Galaxy keep a fifth clean sheet in a row they win for the fourth time in a row they win away from home against super sports united for the very first time you can see how much it means to say dremovic and his coaching team the first defeat for super sports united in some time since they lost against richards bay fc in the league on the last uh, second last day of last year and the second defeat at home since uh, the memory sundowns uh, loss on the 29th of december well they've traveled they've conquered and Tiggs Galaxy can continue with their run. Super Sports United will play against uh, Salamosh FC on the 13th Saturday in the Ned Bank Cup quarterfinal. Tiggs Galaxy will be at home against Chipper United. It will be buoyant after their win over Kaiser Chiefs today in East London. But Tiggs Galaxy today as he uh, hugs the captain of Super Sports United, Tulani Klatswayo. Nurkovic didn't score today, but he'll be a very, very happy man with the success that has come the way of the Rockets in recent time. If you look at the success from the 9th of March, five uh, clean sheets, nine goals, and 12 points uh, successively in the DSTV Premiership, taking them up into fifth place on the table. It's a, a remarkable story. It's a really, really good story from a, a team that finished 10th uh, in the league yes, last year. Kevin Hunt is uh, unplackable, and Sejdramovic will be very happy indeed. The game of football only needs one goal in it, and that's what happened in the seventh minutes of the uh, second half here in Attridgeville. It came from Mvilasi. TX Galaxy win by a goal to nil.
And it ends here at the Lucas Muripa Stadium with TS Galaxy grabbing that first win away at Super Sport United. The players of TS Galaxy very, very happy because the moment that whistle went, I saw them just jumping up for joy. But of course, I'm about to be joined by the DSTV Premiership Man of the Match. That is none other than the man responsible for these three points. That is Mpo Velase. Mposa. Congratulations. You have played in every single one of TS Galaxy's games in the league this season. That basically means you're very important to coach Siad Ramovic. Your thoughts on how you performed today? Uh, thank you for, for the athlete and I'd like to thank God for the opportunity. Uh, I think coming to this game, we, we knew that it was going to be difficult because if I remember well, Supersport was their fifth draw in a row where I think they also needed points as we do because I think the team never been in the top eight. We're fighting that so that we can achieve our goal going into the top eight. So I think the game today went as planned, but I think because of the rain, we couldn't play the game that we used to play, but I think we managed to, to control the game. What is it that TS Galaxy is doing differently this season? Uh, I'll firstly say, because last season I was not with the team, but because the coach, even when the coach has been talking to the guys, telling them that, guys, what we did last season, we can't repeat this season. So it gave us the, the edge that we, as players that came and joined the group, should go according to the instruction of the coach and... Hard work will always pay. That's always he always tell us. Yeah. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, my sister, and thank you to the team also. There you have it. As he mentioned, he wasn't with the TS Galaxy last season previously with Marubo Gallants. But now joining me is Coach Sead Ramovic. Coach, not the best of conditions to play under, but you manage yet another victory. Yes, and we are absolutely happy about it because to, to play three games in eight days, and to put this kind of performance, what my players did, is just unbelievable. And I have to give them a lot of credit for the beautiful effort, fantastic attitude. And like I always say, it's not always this million uh, dollar players that win games. No, it's most of them always million great attitude players that win the games. And this is what they do. I'm just proud about them. Unbelievable. They cannot get a lot of praise what they deserve from the number one until to the number 22. How we train because we knew it's not easy to play three games in a row, but we managed to get nine points out of it. Beautiful, unbelievable team, and I'm just proud of it. But I would also like to say congratulate for the opponent. They are very tough to play against. They have a fantastic a coach that won unbelievable a lot of uh, titles so all in all we are just proud about it uh, yes but the season is still long we have uh, nine more games in front of us our goal is of course to be in the top eight spot and i can just be proud of about it the, the game i think that we deserve the, the win why because we were also good in the transitions uh, only the last fi final pass, if, if we can this one improve, I think that we could score three, four more goals or get three, four great opportunities if we score it's uh, all that question. But all in all, I'm just happy about it and it's beautiful to be and get the three points, of course. What are you doing differently this season, coach? Because you are mentioning the fact that you're now looking at a top eight finish, possibly even a calf finish. Um, what is it that you're doing so differently? We don't do anything uh, 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 like differently. We just got players in that are willing to train hard, willing to improve, willing to fight. And we sort out players that are lazy, that don't want to improve, they don't want to train, they're just there to add the numbers. And this is what we changed, all the players that we sorted out. I could now, of course, name all my beautiful uh, guys that we sorted out, that, that actually complained about us, about me. But all in all, no, no, no. 
without hard work, without the right attitude, you cannot win games. And this is the best example of what you see. Young players from our under 21, from the NFT that we got in, unbelievable strong uh, characters that wants to improve, that wants to win. And this is what we want to put into the team, this kind of winning mentality. And this is what we have until now. But we have, of course, again, it's a process, but we are on the right way. And now your intention moves to the Net Bank Cup against Cheaper United? Let us just be happy for one, two days. After that, we can again start for the process and prepare ourselves for the next game. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. There you have it. That is Coach Sead Ramovic. Very happy with how the side has performed. He is talking about uh, having done all the work behind the scenes in order to make sure that they are finding themselves now trying to get into that calf spot, if not finishing in the top eight this season. But of course, joining me now is Coach of Super Sports United, Coach Gavin Hunt. Coach, we did speak about possibly this one being the turning point, but it's not to be. Even the conditions were not the best today. Yeah, they had one chance and they scored. It's been happening to us the last four or five games. Um, you know, but um, a lot of kids, you know, obviously need to learn. You know, it's not about just when we have the ball and um, that's what we're learning with at the moment. And we're going to suffer because that's what it's about with young players. Uh, they made, I mean, on, the, on, the, on our left-hand side, there was a poor, poor tactical error, but that's, that's football. And um, as I said, they had one chance the whole game. Um, and we just, you know, didn't connect a little bit up front and, and the passing. And then obviously once they went one all in, then they just, you know, they don't move. So um, disappointing because uh, I think we're better than that. Would you feel as though you're almost running out of time because you do have very few games left till the end of the season? Just to try and work things together and get that win. Yeah, we've had a fantastic season so far. We've, we've working hard. You know, everybody's with what we got, and we've done brilliant. So, um, you know, uh, if you expect more than with young players, you're going to suffer. They will get better, but we're suffering. Uh, you know, same as on Tuesday, a little bit inexperience. You know, so um, these things will happen, but um, they will get better. And I still got great belief in them, and um, you know, we'll go forward, um, bigger and better things. I know that. You have a week, and then Staley's next in the Netbank Cup. Sure. Doesn't you know? There's no easy games, um, but I mean, you know, we've beaten most teams, and uh, we'll go down there and do the best we can and uh, put a team together. But we'll be fine. Thank you very much, Coach. There you have it. That is Coach Gavin Hunt. He is talking about having one of the youngest squads in the country when it comes to the DSTV Prem. And he is talking about them needing plenty of time in order to get back to that form that they're generally very much well known for. And that's how it ends here at the Lucas Moripe Stadium with TS Galaxy gathering all three points. So with that said, Thomas Mlambo, it's back to you in studio. From me and Pomavoy and the rest of the crew from here, it's bye-bye.